Hey guys, my name is Angelica Mack and I have been doing lashes for five and a half years. This channel is dedicated to all things lashes and beauty and if you haven't already, please push below to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the four different mistakes that could be affecting your lash retention. Number one is to avoid using expired or old adhesive. You wanna make sure you're always labeling your glue. Most glue lasts about four to six weeks. So you wanna make sure when you open the glue, you label the date so you know when to toss it. Number two is to avoid getting your lashes wet for the first 24 to 48 hours. Even if you are using Bonder, we still suggest that you do not get the lashes wet for the first 24 or 48 hours hours. That is just a rule of thumb. Number three is you want to avoid using oil-based product around the lashes. This is super important. Oil and the lash glue do not mix very well. They are not friends. So you want to make sure that you are avoiding any heavy oil around your lash line. If you are going to be using oil in your facial products or in your moisturizer, you want to make sure you're washing your lashes immediately after your skincare routine. The last mistake that you could possibly be making that could affect your lash retention is pulling or picking at your lashes. You want to avoid any kind of touching or tugging at your lashes because there are oils that are on your fingertips and that is getting on your lashes, which could be affecting your retention and causing your lashes to be falling out. Not only does that affect your lashes, but it affects the growth of your natural lashes. If you're pulling and ripping them out, that completely disrupts the growing process and could affect your lashes and your lash line causing your lashes to not be able to get as full and as dense as you would like them to be because you're pulling out your natural lashes. Therefore, we cannot add lashes to your skin. So you wanna make sure you are not pulling out your lashes to help your lashes last longer. That's it for today. Those are all the four mistakes that you could possibly be making that will affect your lash retention. I hope you got some value from this. I have a question for you. What are some aftercare tips that you provide your clients after your, their fill or their full set? Comment below, I hope to see you guys in the next video.